Hi, Mike Tamayo here with Backscatter Underwater Video and Photo, here today with Berkeley White, the owner of Backscatter, to talk about the new Macromate Mini. With the Hero 3 and 3 Plus camera, you can get about two feet away from your subject. With the Plus 10 macro lens, you can get about a foot away. Now with the Macromate Mini, you can get about three inches away to shoot critters about as small as this guy, and maybe even a little bit smaller. This twin lens design is designed specifically for the Hero 3 and 3 Plus for underwater macro video shooting. What does that mean to you? You can get the closest, sharpest, and the highest reproduction ratio available on the market today. Now let's see how easily we can install this on our Flip 3.1 system. Many of you may be familiar with the Flip 3.1 system available from Backscatter. This filter system also has an available 55 millimeter filter holder allowing you to attach 55 millimeter lenses for both topside and below water shooting. For those of you with the older Flip 3.0 system, a top flip can be added allowing you to attach accessories such as the Flip 3.155. Once installed, simply thread on your Macromate Mini and we're ready to get in the water. Now Berkeley, I understand that you've shot this quite a bit. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the setup that you used and how you got the great results that we're seeing on the film. Sure, so basically it was a rig just like this. So um, a GoPro Hero 3 Plus set up on a, on a dual tray with the flex arms and these are Gobi 700 lights. Uh, and then I was using a simple tripod, kind of like this Joby setup here. So it's really lightweight setup and the cool thing is you can fold the tripod up, swim around with it you know, find where you want to shoot, set it all um, down, and then get really stable footage, um, which is really one of the most important things when shooting any kind of video. Sure. Sure, and how were you able to acquire focus? Did you use the LCD back mostly? Yeah, so the LCD is great because, you know, back in the Nikonos days, you know, we had these big framers that were poking around at subjects, um, but now we have an LCD back so we can see our framing on the back. And then basically I would see like, oh, that's bad, bad, better focus, bad focus, better focus, bad focus, and just move it in and out. And then you'd see like, oh, okay, that's, that's the spot to be in. So usually I was doing that while I was sliding the tripod back and forth. When I got that switch, sweet spot, then I'd hit go, you know, not touch the camera so things were super steady and, and then got really great results. Though um, one thing that, um, you know, in teaching new people how to use it, um, we decided to come up with this, this focus stick. And so the focus stick will basically, you set it right on the lens and then anything that's at the, uh, the, um, the end of the stick is going to be right in the middle of the depth of field. So if you get close to that, you know, it's basically a guide. You, maybe you use it for the first five dives, something like that. You can store it in the side of the, of the handle over here. Um, and, you know, at least gives you something when you're starting out to give you an idea of, of where to get started. Excellent, excellent way to get started. Now, as far as camera settings, how did you have it set up there internally? So um, on the Hero 3 Plus Black, um, I had it set for um, medium or narrow mode, and definitely narrow mode is the coolest. It's the sharpest, and you know, you're shooting basically a full frame golf ball. In medium mode, you're kind of like this, you're about like a softball size, um, but definitely narrow was the best results. Um, you can shoot it in photo mode in medium, um, and it, it works really well. I'm, I'm kind of a video fan, I, I like getting a little movement in the critters. Um, so I was shooting 1080p um, in 60 frames per second. And so that's a good flexible setup. And I usually do some um, battery saving settings like, you know, Wi-Fi off, um, have the, you know, turn the, the monitor off when you're not using it. Um, so just a, other, other than that, um, maybe ProTune off. Um, but then it's just hit, hit the button and go. Oh, that's great. A lot less settings than we're used to with some of the other rigs. Yeah. So I noticed that it's threaded on the front there, 55 millimeter as well. 
And that allows you to stack some of our other filters. Now, did you try stacking anything like the red filter or the night sea filter? Yeah, well, in general, um, you know, when shooting macro, you're going to tend to be shooting animals that are kind of tucked away in the reef. And so it's usually a pretty shadowy scene um, or night dive, which is the best, you know, time to shoot macro. And you really need lights, you know, even during the day when critters are kind of tucked away. Um, so you can take a filter and, um, you know, the front is threaded um, with 55, so you can thread a color filter on, but you're taking away two stops of light with a filter. And so, you know, when you're in kind of these dark spots, it's really best just to go with lights. But for some people that want a run filter, we have that. And then, of course, there's the night sea filter as well. So if people are running like the Sola night seas and trying to do some fluorescence diving, you can definitely thread that on the front. That's a really cool way to get into that. That's going to open up a lot of options for a lot of people out there. Well, in a, another way that I shot quite a bit is rather than having a, a color filter on this side, I would um, add a second 55 millimeter threaded adapter on this side and then run the plus 10. So I got my one foot focus, then I could flip that out, flip down the Macromate Mini, and now I've got my three inch focus. So it was a really cool combo for shooting everything from this big to this big. The Backscatter Macromate Mini comes with the Macromate Mini itself, a focus tool, and the O-ring spring hinge. It's available now through Backscatter.com, through Backscatter dealers worldwide, and by giving us a call. We'd love to talk to you. As always, I'm Mike Tamayo, and thank you for joining us, Berkeley White. Give us a ring here or visit us online at Backscatter.com. We'll be happy to set you up for your underwater needs. Happy diving, guys.